Peace. Um, this is Todd's in this one. And I just want to touch on um the guy from um World Star Hip Hop dying. Um Q. Alright. Okay. Alright, so we got this guy World Star. I mean Q from World Star Hip Hop that just passed. Um he died in sleep um apparently um of a heart attack or cardiac arrest. Okay, um let me just start off with this, right? I wish that motherfucker would have got his ass beat and a nigga would have yelled out world star and jumped his ass and let he would have died like that. Okay? Now I know a lot of you motherfuckers gonna come to this page. A lot of you black motherfuckers who support this coonery and all you motherfuckers do is support anybody who's successful no matter what the level of their fucking success. Just like all these rappers who promote all these negative stereotypes and that's the reason why we fucked up in life. Y'all niggas love Biggie who promoted all these negative stereotypes. I love all these rappers who promote all these negative stereotypes. So with that being said, I, I, I hope world star hip hop died with this nigga Q. Okay. Now, like I said, I don't know this brother, but um, his his um web page tell it all. You understand what I'm saying? Now, listen. Let me tell you something. Now, not many kids I seen get beat up on live TV just to go on world star. Do you? You don't know that, right? So now we got a brother, right, who basically promoting and putting these fight videos up. Because he see he getting a lot of views from him. See, the fight videos, you get a lot of views from. I don't promote none of that shit. And I was going to put show you some of the videos, you know, some of the videos that was on World Star. But I don't even watch that shit. I don't even want to see no kids fighting. I'm not going to be part of that. If I ever see a child, it's like, for example, me and my daughter, I was bringing her home from school. And it was like almost 30 kids out here fighting in front of my fucking house, yo. It was 30 kids fighting in front of my fucking house, bro. Now, this shit happened twice. One time, it was a girl fighting another girl bigger than her or whatever. Don't you know I went over there? I'm talking I was about 40 kids, maybe. It was young boys and everything. I went over there, broke the fight up or whatever, told the motherfuckers to keep it moving, and ain't none of them gonna say nothing, now I'm not saying that that's gonna happen all the time, but that's how, that's how we supposed to be reacting in our community, we ain't supposed to be sitting there pulling no cameras out, watching nobody get their ass beat, a little girl, or, or anybody, and these ignorant ass fucking grown ups who, who tolerate this madness, they gotta go too, and like I said in my earlier videos, listen, I'm for the aborigines and tauntiness, um, African Americans or black people of North America, right? But with that being said, that we have a lot of black devils. Just like we got white devils or European devils, we have a lot of black devils out here that promote these negative stereotypes of what black people image is in this, in, you know what I'm saying, in North America. And you know, and, and basically understand world stars all around the world. So this is going all around the world. People seeing this fuckery all around the world. They seeing how black people react. They seeing how black people act and treat one another. And we see grown-ups there. We see grown-ups in the McDonald's fight where ain't nobody breaking nothing up. Like what kind of grown-ups is these? Like I'm not I'm not scared of no little kids. I'm not I'm really not. I mean, I'm not scared of no little I'm not scared of nobody. So let's deal with it like that. You understand? Not less to be sitting there watching some girl get pounded and pounded on, pounded on, pounded on, or whatever, or some boy get jumped by a twin. Come on, bro. When do you say stop? When do you break? When do you try to, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Intervene and say, that's enough. These grown-ups out here is soft. Back in the day, that shit would never happen because somebody would have took their fucking belt off and started beating all of them. So, like I said, man, the nigga from World Star Hip Hop is gone. I hope the fucking website go along with his ass, okay? Look, I don't promote none of the fuckery. I'm not with, like, watching kids fight. I'm not with, like, none of the negative, stereotypical uh, um, images that African Americans is being painted as. And, you know, you got them websites, man. Like I said, I heard kids say World Star and just punch somebody in their face. Or, and just like, come on, man. And he promoting this shit and he kept putting the fights up there. It was at his discretion not to put the fights up because it's his website. But he want to put them up there because the fight, the fight videos get the most views. And you know it's all about views these days. 
It's all about views these days. So, you know, here we go. We got a black brother. And I know a lot of you motherfuckers going to be in the comments like, well, you know, they didn't have to. I don't, man, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Listen, if you if you are with the fuckery, then you are the problem too. So the motherfuckers who comment, who's basically, um, who's approving of this fuckery world star hip hop, then fuck you too. And you are, you a problem too. You a problem among the African American community, and your ass gotta go too. Okay. So like I said, these motherfuckers who promote this this fuckery, man, adios. And I'm glad. Like I'm, I, I wish he he died a peaceful death. He died in his sleep. I mean, it would have been it would have been much more better to see his ass get stomped out in the in the middle of the fucking park by. 20 young kids and they all saying world star world star world star you know what i'm saying so like i said i'm not trying to be i'm not trying to be critical of a brother who did make a um website but what was the website promoting the website wasn't promoting nothing positive so you're supposed to say just because a brother is a brother is successful what about the thousands of kids who got who got injured or got assaulted as a as a result of world star what about the thousands of children who've been assaulted? Some of them been stabbed, some of them been shot, some of them been dis um some of them been hurt real bad. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, man, listen, man, we can't be promoting this fuckery, man. You know what I'm saying? And I wish the brother could have really, you know, focused his energy and did something better for his people. But he didn't. So, you know, this is his legacy. His legacy is World Star Hip Hop, uh, a web page where, they, yeah, you got brothers up there who do put hip hop up there, but you also got people up there who put fights up there and all this negative, all this, all the fuckery. All the fuckery started from World Star. So, with that being said, I hope World Star Hip Hop die along with the fucking creator, Q. Peace.